Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I'm PJ, and I'm located here in northwest Arkansas, where I run an ARBA registered rabbitry. I raise commercial meat breed rabbits. I raise New Zealand's in black, blue, and broken, and silver fox in black and blue. And I raise rabbits for meat, uh, fertilizer for the garden, uh, for producing and improving my uh, brood stock and for competition uh, I show nationally. All right, so what we're doing today is taking a look at uh, Washita's litter. And I'm actually going to break this up into two different videos because Washita had such a large litter. Uh, so on June 6th, that's when these guys, uh, guys were born, or at least today, uh, I'm doing what I presume are does. I looked weeks ago, and they look like does weeks ago. Uh, so hopefully Sex Fairy hasn't came and changed them up on me. But anyway, uh, these ladies were born on June 6th, and they're sired by Greasy. And uh, um, she kindled 11 and she weaned 10, and we had uh, 10 up until uh, one day last week. Um, this litter had a touch of bloat, uh, or what I thought could have been. Uh, one of them was grained in its teeth, and so uh, I went ahead. She was a Charlie Blue Doe, so I went ahead and I pulled her and I called her. Uh, and I never saw any other signs of um, impeding bloat in this litter since. So uh, hopefully uh, that was the problem and got rid of it before a real issue started. Uh, so anyway, uh, first up we have, I hope, a blue doe. Uh, this was the only blue uh, in the litter, I think. Yes, all the boys are broken. Uh, so we... Yeah, she only had one solid. Everything was broken and Charlie's except for this one. Uh, so uh, just looking at her right here, of course her coat is a little stained and uh, uneven. She's got a baby coat. So hopefully when the coat comes in. But seeing her sit there like that, very promising young doe. Uh, she was 6 pounds, 12 ounces. Uh, that's a good fair size for a litter of this size uh, when you have a litter of 10 uh, you know I've said before you only have eight dinner plates at the table and so if you have 10 mouths to feed with eight dinner plates uh, they're not going to grow as fast uh, so for a litter of 10 uh, 6 pounds 12 ounces at this age I think is a uh, rather um, almost remarkable uh, impressive at least. So let's go ahead and take a look at the young lady. She's hiding her face from us, but at least you got a good look at the butt. <laughs> looking good, looking good girl. I'm not seeing any uh, stray white hairs or white spots. So looking pretty good. Need a new fur, a little bit stained and discolored. Okay. All right. I'm going to roll you over so I can see your teeth. Come on. Here. Shh, 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 shh. Good girl. All right. Right off the bat, I don't see any white on the foot pads. That's promising. All right, I'm going to touch your mouth. Good girl. Okay, good straight teeth. All right, now, right here, let's look at that front middle toe for a white toe now. Oh, hallelujah, it's blue. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and double check all the other toenails.
when that toenail is blue, there's a very good chance all of the rest of them are, but um, I'm going to check anyway. Um, you know, rabbits never stop surprising me, so. All right, all blue toenails. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. We have a blue doe. Oh, let's check the belly button. A lot of times on black, I don't know about blue. I'm not sure I've seen it yet, uh, but I can't get past the white toenails on the does. Um, so on the black, a good place, you always want to check where the belly button would be because it tends to have a white spot there. Um, I don't know if that's true for blue or not. Um, if you happen to be a blue breeder and know the answer to that, please let me know. Um, I would look anyway. Uh, but today, she does not have a white spot on her belly. So, that means, Wendy, thank goodness, we have a potential blue doe um, that we can show. It so appears. All right, so let's take a look. You know, I, I really like this doe. I really do. Look at that. We have a really nice top line. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Um, she's got pretty good depth. I would like to see a little more depth, but I think that's um, well balanced. I don't think she's flat. Uh, certainly not flat. Um, you got some good width. We're uh, over, let's see, look at this. I'm trying to show you. I realized yesterday I kept stepping in the way. Um, right here at the loin, we're over a hand width. See, I can put my hand there and I can still feel the loin with my finger. So we're over a hand width the loin there. That's really great for commercial rabbit. All right, let me pose her up. Let me set her up so you can see her. All right. Boy, I'm so glad to have a blue doe. All right. There we have it. That's what she looks like. Now, um, I think she's good and strong in the shoulder. Um, she's not too long. Uh, she's not uh, too cobby either. She's uh, nice and uh, strong in the shoulder. She's got good width in the shoulder. Uh, a lot of times, uh, if you get it, you know, a short shoulder where it needs to be, a lot of times it might be narrow, and she's not. Uh, she's really nice, full in the shoulder. She's full in the center, and she's certainly full back there in the tail end, just like her mama is. And Greasy's nice and wide in the tail end, too. Now, what I don't like about Greasy, and I see it a lot in juniors, um, juniors grow out of it. Now, Greasy's, um, you know, he, he was a year old back in either April or May, so he's well past uh, maturing age, uh, and he's still, he has that little sunken spot uh, right here. Boy, not her, but she don't have that, even as a junior, young junior. Um, right through here, they tend to have that little sinking sunken area right here. Uh, generally, they that fills in by the time they're six, seven, eight months old. I'm not overly concerned about that until they heat, hit maturity and then they're still there. Uh, and Greasy does. Greasy has um, that little pinched spot right here in the loin and I don't like that in him. However, wash, I'm used to Washita being here. Uh, I moved her I don't know, two months ago, I guess, and I'm still used to Washita being right here. Uh, Washita is good, round, completely full right here, and uh, so is this young doe. Very promising oh, doe. you know what? <laughs> I didn't verify that she's still a girl. Um, let's flip her over one more time and make sure she's a girl. Yes, she's still a girl. All right, very promising girl. She will go on the show team. Uh, she was 6 pounds, 12 ounces. 
So I'm not going to take her to Louisiana tomorrow. Uh, I still have to tattoo her. And uh, I really prefer to show them once they're over seven pounds, uh, closer to seven and a half pounds. And so I'm going to let this girl wait uh, a couple more weeks and uh, probably show her in Mesquite, Texas in November. All right, we've got four more girls to look at. Let's get to it. All right, this is a broken blue girl, and she was six pounds, four ounces. Take a look at her. <laughs> All right, let me look at your ears, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> look at that. Hmm? Oh, you're a pretty girl. You are. Okay, she's broken. And uh, you can see she's got a nice, even nose marking. <laughs> She keeps pointing her nose down. There we go. Now you can see it. Nice even nose marking. Pretty little face. All right. I'm going to flip you over, little girl. Huh? Yeah? Come on. Good girl. Good girl. There. Now, on the brokens, remember, okay, her teeth are fine. Um... They're not wearing perfectly straight, so I'm going to give her a little chew toy, uh, but they're certainly fine. Um, toenails on the broken can be white or um, a color uh, appropriate with their color. So she's a broken blue. She can have white or gray toenails. But they have to all be there. Have to have all the toes and all the toenails. That's right. And she does. Very nice. Let's make sure it's still a girl. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Still a pretty little girl. We sure are. Pretty little girl. All right. We got five of these girls, and I'm spending way too much time talking. Oh, they're trying to escape. It was that blue doe. She's a smart one. I'm going to have to watch her. Um, she pushed the lid on the carrier open. All right, so we're looking at body type. Let me turn her so you can see her. All right. Look at that. Oh, put your foot down. There you go. There we go. There we go. She's got real nice depth, I think. Um, she's not as full as her blue sister, but she's not carrying as much weight either. Uh-oh. We got a rabbit loose. Okay, well, <laughs> we had one escape, and uh, she almost got away from me, but we managed... Um, we just had a flash flood. Was that yesterday? No. On Tuesday, we had a flash flood. So we've got a lot of mucky places. And lucky for me, <laughs> uh, she ran right through a mud, a mud puddle. And it slowed her down. And so I was able to pick her up directly out of the mud. Unfortunately... That means you are not going to get to see her today because her whole undercarriage is just covered in mud. And uh, uh, I, I don't want to deal with that mud, so we're going to have to let her, um, going to have to clean her up and let her dry off. Uh, so we'll take a look at her at the same time that we do uh, the box. So that should be the next video, and that will come out next week sometime. Anyway. Yes, she scratched me, but she is caught, and she's back in her pen, so she's she's safe. 
uh, broken blue dough, six pounds, four ounces. Um, she, did I look to see that? She, yes, I looked. She was still a dough. All right, so body type. Um, I don't think she's as full as her sister, uh, but I think she's every bit as nice. A very promising doe. Uh, certainly, I'm going to keep hanging around. And once again, even though she's a junior, there might be a slight indentation right here at the hip joints. Um, but I tell you what, it, it's very slight. Look at that. If it's there, it's slight. Nice and full at the base. But she's got herself perfectly posed right in the corner. Uh, nice and round this way. Uh, nice and round this way. Uh, pretty balanced little animal right there. I like her a lot. Now, I've really been excited about this litter coming out of Washita. So far, we've only looked at two of the nine. And uh, so far, the two that I've seen... I really do like. All right, so let's go ahead and go to um, number right. three. Here is number three, and she was six pounds even. I need to write that down. And she is broken black. So, let's take a real good look at you. you. Look good there. Nice even nose marking. All right. Let's flip you over. Good girl. That's a good bunny. Yeah. She is still a girl. Then look at your teeth. I'm going to touch your mouth. Good girl. I'm going to touch your teeth. All right, great teeth. Okay, she has all her um, toes and toenails. No, I always forget to check the tail. They can break that tail. And if the tail's not straight, um, it is a DQ. All right. So, a little bit on the smaller side compared to her two sisters. Now, remember, there's there was six in a pen until, um, I don't think it's been a full week, but maybe a week. Uh, and now there's five to a pen. Uh, so, I've got to... Uh, empty up some new cages so that I can spread these girls out. But um, Another, look at this, another promising, very promising doe. Um, she's got really nice depth, uh, nice short, strong shoulders, wide at the shoulders, nice and full. Um, now her loin is just barely four fingers wide, but she's smaller in weight than her her sisters. Um, looking at it, how full she is, let me give you her best view here, her, her rear end. That's always the best view. See, looking here, she's nice and wide. Wide at the base, wide in the center. And again, for a junior, if she has a pinch right here, it's very slight. I'm not seeing much of one. Um, Real promising doe there. Three out of three so far I like. Now, you know my preference is going to be on the blue, on the broken blue. It's just going to be, but that's a very beautiful broken black doe. I like her a lot. All right. Now we have two more sisters, but we're only going to look at one more today. So let's go ahead and take a look at that last uh, doe. Uh, the doe that we will not see today is uh, a little heavier in pattern. 
Uh, and from what I've been watching, she looks like she's going to be a promising doe, too. Uh, right now she's covered in wet, mucky mud, so uh, we're not going to take a look at her. But um, Not all that pretty today, but... All right, so <laughs> our last is. doe for today... Um, Whoa! Goodness! What you so jumpy for? Huh? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, she was only 5 pounds, 8 ounces. And I can tell... Um, just by touching her as she's underfed. Um, now I, like I said, she's in a pen of five doles and she's the one getting pushed off of the feed. Um, I fill the feeder up every single day. Uh, I give like eight cups for five rabbits. That's way more than what they need. So the two bigger doles are eating good and, uh, and they're pushing this one off. They're not really bullying her. Because her fur is not chewed or anything. Um, she's just a little underweight right close. Now. And as soon as I can, I'm going to spread these girls apart so that they uh, have less mouths at the feeder. But All right. Yeah, you need a cage all by yourself, don't you? I emptied this out, but I may put some doughs over here and spread them apart. Oh, let's take a look at you first. Now, when I say she's underfed, <laughs> don't get the illusion that she's starving. She's not. Uh, you can look at her and tell, you know, she's, she's not starving. She's just not well conditioned like these other ladies are, but... Anyway, so yeah, I don't think she's going to die on me because she's starving. She's not. She just needs a little more conditioning. Yep. All right, you look good there. I'm going to flip you over, and you're a little jumpy. Are you going to let me turn you? Huh? You're a little jumpy. You going to let me turn you? That's a good girl. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. No. Relax. There you go. There you go, my goodness. My goodness. You act like it was the end of the world. I just turned you upside down. I'm going to touch your mouth now. Yep. All right, let's see. All right, so you got good teeth. So it's not a tooth problem. No. It's too many sisters problem, isn't it? Huh? Okay, you have all your toes and your toenails. There you go. Good girl. I'm, yes, I'm moving you. I'm going to move your tail. All right, and we're still a girl. Very good. Very good. That's okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and look at this girl. Um, but until she... Um, fix up her diet a little bit. She's going to look a little scrawny, and that's because she is just a little scrawny. And she's also fighting me. Come on. Put your feet flat on the mat. There you go. Yeah, she's fighting me. Now, I can tell you this girl's got depth, um, even with her being thin. Uh, look, She's leaning to the side. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right, well, we can tell that she has some depth. She keeps leaning. I can't convince her to sit flat. Come on. Sit flat. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right, well, we can tell she has some depth. <laughs> That's really all I can tell you right now until she gets um, some better conditioning. She's a little narrow right through here. Now I'm filling the rib cage, um, the spring to rib, and the rib does gradually widen. So I think she's got going to have the width once um, she eats a little better and fills in. Uh, the shape is there. Uh, the bone structure is there. We just need to uh, put a little more meat on her. 
So we may come and take another look at her in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to feed her out, uh, get her weight up, and uh, take another look at her. Down below, I'm going to leave some links. One will be to my website where you can find my show schedule and my show blog that will show um, the results for each of the shows. Uh, I'll leave a link to the rabbits uh, fan page. Uh, that way you can uh, see what's going on in the rabbitry from day to day. And I'm going to leave a link to my personal Facebook page. That way if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to contact me there or through Messenger. Thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless. All right. I wanted to show you guys this poor little girl. This is the one that escaped, and she trudged through the mud hole, and she was just awful and pathetic and pitiful, but um, it gave her to do little and do little gave her a shower and got all that muck off of her and uh, she took it pretty well I wouldn't say she liked it but she certainly allowed it to happen without fussing and uh, right now we're keeping her indoors trying to get her to dry so uh, can't really get a whole real good look at her right now with her being all wet and I didn't bring the scales in, so I didn't weigh her. Uh, I'm going to check her over and look for ear mites and things of that nature, but make sure she's still a doe, and I'm going to go ahead and tattoo her. And then uh, maybe next week when we're looking at the box, we'll uh, take a look at her also.